Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday again, so I'm here with another What I Ate Wednesday video. Um, this morning I was up at 7am, it's now 10am, I had half a litre of water, um, I had one of my um, B12 tablets with that water just to give me a boost and 10am kind of a late breakfast is my banana raspberry carob powder smoothie. I will put a link to the recipe video for this smoothie in the descriptions box. Um, this morning I've, I've added another ingredient, I've added three teaspoons of psyllium husk. For those of you who might not have heard of psyllium husk, psyllium husk is an extraordinary, um, amazingly healthy cleansing product. Psyllium husk is basically 100% fiber. Um, and when you take psyllium husk, it really makes a massive difference to your digestive tract. It cleans you out. You will find that, um, you know, you... Uh, some people are embarrassed about talking about this, but I'm, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. So I apologise if I use any language that might make you feel a bit ill. But if you take psyllium husk, you will have um, large bowel movements. Your bowel movements will be completely normal. You know, it's not, uh, it's not going to be um, diarrhea or anything like that. But psyllium husk, because it's 100% fibre, you'll have very large bowel movements. Um, so therefore it helps to cleanse your digestive tract. Um, psyllium husk, when it absorbs water, it expands inside of your body. And as it moves through your intestines and through your colon and everything, it sucks in a lot of the the um, old waste that's kind of stuck up inside your system. So I've added three teaspoons of psyllium husk and that will help me because I've been feeling a bit sort of stuffed lately. You know, my digestive tract is has slowed down a little. It's not working as well as it was. So that's my breakfast. Banana raspberry carob, pow carob powder smoothie with three teaspoons of psyllium husk. I'm sitting at my uh, writing desk. I've got my bottle of ink and my Visconti fountain pen. And I'm just going to do some writing in my journal. Maybe write some of my poetry. Got a few ideas. And I'll see you back for lunchtime on this What I Ate Wednesday. So it's lunchtime. I'm just having white rice with Thai sweet chilli sauce. And uh, 20 fluid ounces of water. Um, I've got a couple of bowls of this rice. And that'll fill me up nicely for lunch and keep me going for the rest of the afternoon. And then um, I'll have my dinner in the early evening. I'll see you again soon. Okay so on to my dinner. I've just made two of my flatbreads. These are the most delicious and easiest breads in the world to make. It literally takes three or four minutes to make one bread. Um, I've made two. I've covered one with cucumber and romaine lettuce and I'm just going to basically pop that one on top to create a big sandwich. I'm going to cut it up into little slices and I'm going to have my flatbread romaine and cucumber sandwich. I'm going to make myself a cup of Earl Grey tea because I'm really into Earl Grey at the moment. Um, this flatbread, I make the the basic recipe of the flatbread is, is a plain bread and then I add different flavours depending on what I like at the time. This flatbread has got uh, garlic granules, onion granules, uh, and mixed herbs, uh, which is my favourite of the flatbreads that I make. I also really, really love to add ground black pepper. That gives the bread a little bit of heat. Um, but yeah, um, I don't buy uh, bread from the shops anymore. I can't remember the last time I bought any bread from a shop. So what I do is I just make these flatbreads. Um, I make them maybe half a dozen at a time and pop them in the freezer and they'll keep for a couple of weeks perfectly fine. Sometimes I'll have the flatbread straight out of the frying pan when it's all nice and hot and crispy. Most of the time I let the flatbread cool down and um, as you can see use it as sandwich bread. 
So that's going to be my dinner. I'll probably have some more water and maybe some fruit afterwards. Uh, I have had quite a number of requests actually from viewers for my flatbread recipe. Um, so that's going to be my next video. So I'll probably do that within the next 24 hours. Um, and it will be uploaded um, after this video. So if you want to see the recipe for the easiest, cheapest, tastiest bread you'll probably ever eat in your entire life, then um, you know, stay tuned for the next 24 hours. Please subscribe so that you'll get notified of when it's uploaded. And um, that's my dinner on this What I Ate Wednesday. Please subscribe, please like, please leave any comments as usual. There are links to other videos of mine in the description box below, so please take a look and let me know what you think. And um, the next time I speak to you, I will be making the um, recipe video for these flatbreads. Okay, thank you very much for watching and take care. All the best to you.